Also, leave us your voicemail. Our voicemail line is 219-2-DAVID-P. Here is one more email, a uh, voicemail rather, about the George W. Bush paintings. This individual does not seem thrilled. Take a listen to this. Uh, yes, I was somewhat uh, dismayed just a few minutes ago listening to your podcast about how you were saying that George W. Bush looks better because he paints a bunch of pictures of himself <laughs> and of himself in showers. And somehow you thought that maybe because this guy has the money that he can easily afford the expense of art, watercolors, all that, that somehow that would make him better than people who are less culture who are actually working. That is not at all what I meant. I think there's a misunderstanding. In fact, I, I didn't think of it as a class thing at all. It's not George W. Bush buying expensive art. It's George W. Bush even having the curiosity to say, I wonder if I could paint myself. I wonder yeah. if I could paint a church. I mean, it was really more about that. It wasn't about uh, being able to afford, or I think you're getting a little bit of the wrong, uh, wrong angle here. Yeah, we were both just shocked that someone like George Bush, uh, as we see him, would even be interested in doing anything like that. It was just, uh, exactly. we found it curious. And a voicemail from Canada. Listen to this. Uh, hello, uh, my name is David. Uh, I live in Canada. I just wanted to leave this message to say that I really enjoy your show and I um, use it as a credible source of information. Um, there you go. You know, for my uh, own personal knowledge. So I'd also like to thank you for providing some um, legitimate facts, you know, and unlike other uh, news, uh, you know, outlets. Such you know, I take the compliment and thank you. Thank you for watching. I have to say, no matter what side the person is on, I always want to say media literacy. It is very important to distinguish between news reporting programs and opinion programs. This is an opinion program. And whether you like or, or dislike my opinions, it should be clear that this is an opinion program and should not be compared to the bias that some news networks or programs may have. But, but it is a fact. to state facts. Exactly. Absolutely. Opinion can contain fact, very much so. Join us on the bonus show. If you're not signed up, davidpackman.com slash membership. Otherwise, see you tomorrow. The David Pakman Show at davidpackman.com.